You are tuned in to the Gift of Gab podcast, a podcast where we are intentionally growing, accepting, and becoming the best version of ourselves. We focus on all things healing, wellness, spirituality, self-development, and bettering our relationship with ourselves and others. In every episode, we'll be reflecting on lessons learned through past experiences, setting goals, and helping each other reach our fullest potential. I am your host, Gabrielle Ariana, and welcome to this week's episode. Welcome back to the Gift of Gab podcast. I am Gabby Ariana, and thank you for tuning in. If you are new, welcome. I am happy to have you. And if you are returning, thank you for being locked in. I hope you all are doing well this evening or whatever time you are listening. I pray that you are having an amazing day. We are still celebrating Black History Month. So happy Black History Month. Happy Black History Year. And major shout out to everybody Black. Today, I'm actually going to be highlighting, celebrating, and discussing the success and achievements of two black queens. So, kick off your shoes, relax your feet. Oh, I'm kidding. Um, shout out to Escape, but let's get right into it. So, what if I told you that whatever dream you have, goals, and heights you want to reach would take you 15 years to achieve it? 15 long years. Would you continue to strive towards it, knowing that within that time you will feel defeated, you will hear millions of no's, and you will begin to be discouraged and want to give up? Or would you stay the course and pray your determination and hard work will pay off and you will begin to reap the fruits of your labor? So this week, we are going to be talking all about trusting the process and staying the course so we're going to i'm going to break it down to four different little categories or like you know key key components that i feel like is really essential to your your journey of trusting the pro we're going to talk about the power of trust navigating uncertainty overcoming setbacks and divine alignment so the power of trust what is trust right Trust is defined as firm belief in the reliability, truth, ability, or strength of someone or something. And when you're on this journey of pursuing a dream, a goal, an aspiration, it's going to require all of your trust. Um, but when I speak about trust, I'm talking about trust within yourself. It's going to require trust within the process it's going to require trust within god or whatever you know higher source that you believe in because it's just so many things that happens in that entire journey to where you're going to feel defeated you're going to feel as if all of the work that you're putting in and all of the things that you're doing is like not it's it's not being fruitful it's not being you know watered and, it, and, and, and it's going to really, really, really make you think, like, is this something that I really want to do? Is, is it at this point, especially after have experiencing so many different no's, so many things kind of derailing you or prolonging your, your journey that have you thinking, is this even worth it? Right. But I feel like, you know, when you have trust in yourself, you're trusting in that process and you're and you're really trusting in the journey itself and you're really like it's all about the journey it's about what I'm receiving and I'm gaining throughout this entire experience and less about the thing that I'm striving towards but if I focus it on trusting the actual process itself trusting the journey and what it's teaching me it helps you with a lot of growth like when you trust in yourself and you trust in like you know the 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 unlimited possibilities of how something can happen for you and how what you're striving towards will happen it instills a lot of growth in upon you especially with your confidence as a person and in this episode i'm going to mainly like but not really focus you know you can trust the process and trust the journey in any form and like depending you know no matter what the dream or aspiration or the goal is but I do want to focus on cre- as a creative, as an artist, as someone who is in a long journey that is along that is aligned with the artistry 
and creative um, creativity because those types of journeys I feel no matter you know where it's coming from or the, the background of the person or whatever the actual artistry that they're you know pursuing whether that being music whether it being actual like you know art whether it's writing whether it's in the film whether it's creating something like you know crocheting or clothes or music or, or rap or poetry or anything of the arts anything of creativity those things people are very passionate about and it's a different type of journey because it's not the typical journey that a person would an average person would, would have experienced unless it's by choice and when I say that I mean like in comparison to someone who's wanting to be a doctor or someone who's wanting to do like a lawyer those type of journeys definitely comes with obviously having to trust the process you know there's a lot of things that can happen within that journey like uncertainty setbacks and stuff divine alignment like we're going to talk about today but their journey is laid out in a not a chronological order but you have a good idea of what steps you're going to be taking to get you to your goal so of course there's going to be things that happens in that process that you're like not expecting whereas in comparison to as a creative or as an artist there are so many things that you literally just you know it's not a predetermined journey of how it's going to look we have our ideas in our heads that we put in our heads of how we think our journey is going to look when it comes to pursuing some type of artistry or creativity you know um outlet or as a you know career choice of oh i'm gonna do this thing i'm gonna you know for myself like i love to crochet um and i love all things artistry honestly i do love music i love film i love you know um poetry writing all those different things i'm very very creative person and for myself with this podcast this for me is like a creative outlet um, but it's something I'm also very so passionate about. And I think I would even align this more in the creative artistry type of category. Because again, it's not like a flat out, you know, journey that you can kind of look at and say, I'm going to do this, boom, boom, boom. And my podcast is going to skyrocket. And honestly, first coming into it, I didn't have this like idea of what it was going to look like as far as like me um, receiving the engagement and subscribers and followers and all those different things right away I'm learning that this is definitely it's a trust the journey trust the process type of thing because I did come into the podcast and thinking like oh yeah it's gonna be easy to get engagement and just get people to you know subscribe or follow and all those things and it's actually not as easy as you think it is and I say that trusting the process and having a lot of trust in yourself and trusting God helps you with your growth when it comes to pursuing something in general in life but again I'm gonna I'm gonna narrow it down to the terms of creative creative like outlets and then artistry with the music tv film all those different things because the two women that I will be highlighting I feel exemplify what we will be further diving into and that's why I said earlier is that when it comes to like creativity and artistry again with anything your journeys are not going to look the exact same but this is a different type of like journey that you're pursuing where it's su- super easy to get discouraged and it's super easy to kind of lose that trust in yourself and that confidence and why that trust and confidence is super important to maintain and keep that and sustain you as you are continuing that journey because it, it, it can go up you know it can it can be exactly what you thought it was going to be in your head um in terms of like you know you're accomplishing those goals or it could not be that but just because it's not that doesn't mean it's not going to be that at all and so the two women that I will be discussing I feel were just I feel very inspired and I saw both of their individual you know journeys um and to see what has gotten them to this for the point of which they're at it's, it's just crazy how you you never know how you can literally be experiencing like the same type of thing with with someone who does it you know with the, the complete stranger but someone who has the same like creative outlet or, or pursuing the same type of thing in the same field or realm of which you are their journeys can kind of look similar but and in, in, within those journeys it can definitely be a test of like how bad do you not not really how bad do you want it but how far are you willing to keep going right like 
what is is there a limit to where you're like okay I'm gonna throw in the towel um and so I say that because one of the women that I'm gonna be talking about actually mentioned it and I saw remember seeing the interview and her talking about it I was just like wow you know that's that's very true and she was um let me first tell you guys who are the two women um the first woman is Victoria Monet and then secondly Coco Jones those two women and their journeys and what took the the long pursuit of them reaching you know heights and accomplishments and things within their career it took them some time and so um that's why I asked earlier like what would you wait the 15 years if you knew that all that work and all that preparation and all that confidence and all and, and you perfecting your craft and all those different things happen in that time span of those 15 years you're watering those plants eventually sprout and they become fruitful same as Coco Jones um she started out we all know her from Let It Shine from Disney we love Roxy this was a good 10 years ago probably more than 10 years. it has been at least more than 10 years um and she was in that show and we just knew like oh she's going to be the it Disney girl she's gonna have all the deals all the brands all the shows like there is no reason for her to not have had that you know after what she did with within that movie and how she grew such a huge likening and a huge fan base that is still dedicated and loyal to her to this day so we're going to talk about that all later because the things that i'm mentioning like right now i will be tying it all in together but let me go back into what i was talking about with um just being dedicated to the long 15-year process which is what victoria name mentions in her acceptance speech after winning her uh third grammy for best new artist um but it was one of the interviews where she was talking about there is this meme i'm not sure if you guys i'm gonna try to describe it as best as i can um and but in this interview and in this interview she's talking with the interviewer and she's telling them about like basically she's talking about resilience right she's talking about um there's a meme where there's like a a, a man is like a character right and he's like digging for gold and right when he's like if if you just one more little crack and knock it at the little at the rocks you'd be right there but he decides to just you know what i'm gonna give up and he walks away and then underneath it you can see you got in the picture you can see how he was so close to this gold or to this these diamonds or whatever it was but he just you know what he came all this way and he's like you know what forget it and she referenced that and was like you never know when it's like you know that one thing that it's like boom there you go you have your gold and that was like so so inspiring right and so this past week both of these women victoria and coco have become grammy winning so let's talk about navigating uncertainty so navigating uncertainty for me i feel like it's like the the time throughout your journey where you are essentially just embracing the unknown and your trust is also being tested and i say that your trust is being tested because you're in this moment or moments of again you just don't know what's going to happen you don't know which way or how anything is going to happen for you if at all so it's like the trust that you have within yourself the trust that you have within this journey the trust that you have within this this process just just in general it's kind of being put to the test like are you still willing to continuously hit at that you know those rocks to get you to that goal or are you just going to just just stop and just turn around and say you know what it's too much chaos happening around me it's too much uncertainty that's happening that i really just don't know so i'm gonna just kind of look at that as like a sign of like maybe this is just not the route that i should be taking maybe this is not in in the cards for me like i thought that it would be because you know a lot of the times we have these dreams and these goals and things but they don't often look like or materialize how we created it in our head now it's not to say it's not gonna happen at all most more often times than not it does happen it just never looks like how you think it's gonna look and so it's like this vision you created is you kind of get lost in this vision you kind of get lost in the sauce of like oh yeah i'm gonna pursue music i'm gonna pursue acting or i'm gonna pursue whatever 
and I'm just gonna do these you know these 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 common steps and I'm gonna be very determined and diligent with it I'm gonna be persistent I'm going to perfect my craft I'm gonna keep trying and keep going towards it and, and that's gonna definitely get me to where it is I'm trying to go but unconsciously have this expectancy that it's gonna happen like right away instant gratification is like the killer of all things because when you have this this idea and this unconscious like you just can't control it to just expect something to happen how you not even just expect something to happen at all but just expecting it to happen how you envisioned it and then expecting how what you envisioned to happen like right then and there because we're always like oh i know i put in enough work because like you know i've been very dedicated to it and then i've been you know really been waking up early i've been writing my songs i can record i've been doing all these different things of course i would be at this point that i've you know been striving towards being at and it's it's not it's not gonna just happen like that there's a lot of uncertainty there's a lot of unknown and that's why i do talk about on my podcast how important it is to embrace the unknown because there's just so much that you literally just don't know and i know both of these women were like they did not know how they were going to get to where they are today they have grammys they did not know how they were going to get there they didn't even know if they were going to get there but they had stayed the course they trusted the process they kept believing in themselves and i'm pretty sure there was lots of times where they were just like okay i don't know man this this this, this, this i'm trusting the process but does the process know that i'm trusting it that's that's the question that you'd be asking sometimes like does the process know that i'm trusting it or like what's going on is the process trusting me as well because i know i be having those moments too where i'm like okay trusting this process of life there's just so much to be happening life and life and stuff has been going on and i'm trying to get to this you know pot of gold i'm trying to get to at least a, an up on this roller coaster i feel like i've been experiencing so many downs and so i think during those times of uncertainty and unknown it's really like how do you respond when you are in the midst of your waiting period to reach the goals that you are trying to attain or maintain that is what those uncertain certain times have like basically are preparing you for it's really asking your you you can then use that time to self-reflect and and do introspection what is this waiting period teaching me what am i like what's what's what what can i be learned what should i what have what should i have learned up to this point or what am i currently still learning what is it that i have not quite yet mastered or really grasped while still in this pursuit of achieving my goals and trying to make and reach you know the highest of heights i personally believe that navigating uncertainty is just growing in chaos and when you think of chaos or what the chaos is defined as it's defined of a state of complete confusion or in, in, in disorder so you're growing in this state of confusion because you're just confused as to how is that all of these steps that you've already taken and all of these things that you've already done still have not gotten you to this this point to this grandiose picture to the goal being completed to you finally climbing the top of that mountain and saying like i did it what's going on so you're growing in the chaos you're growing in this confusion you're growing in the unknown but you're also in the same time building your trust in the unknown because it's like i'm in these uncertain times i don't know what's going to happen if anything's going to happen so you kind of build a trust with and that's where you're kind of trusting the process so essentially trusting the process of your journey is trusting that unknown because within your process you don't know what is the next thing that's going to happen like what's the next step within that process it's not like laid out as one two a b three it's not like that it's just one two three four a c d fives it's just you it's just a whole bunch of different ways that you can go and there's so many different routes that are in front of you but we have in our head just one route we're just going straight no we can be taking lefts turns loops full circles back around all types of things right and so that's what it is it's like when you're when you are in those uncertain times and you're embracing the unknown it is going to be a confidence builder and it's it's in no and in those times you really do learn a lot about yourself it definitely does develop your character and develop your personal growth 
um, and it also develops you as you know an artist it develops you and it helps you grow within your artistry because it also allows you to know that you know some sometimes things to get something overnight is not the best thing right you can get overnight success there's a lot of people that do and those are just a one-off type of situation where it's just like they just so happen to be the exception of the rule and they got what everybody else think that they think that they're going to have and that's what we think is going to happen for us it's like oh i'm just going to get it not necessarily overnight literally but like not thinking it's going to take as long as 15 years to receive you know reach those different heights and things like that or receive the recognition finally from other people um after you have already been committing to it for the past 15 years and so i had watched i remember watching uh, the interview of coco jones um one three years ago she actually uh there was a viral tweet um one of her you know supporters tweeted about her like you know where is coco jones like everyone talks about the the movie let it shine everyone talks about you know her being on disney like love charlie and no one can really wrap their heads around it's like how did how did she not have like her own show something after giving what she gave in that movie sis was singing her she was singing her ass off at the young age of like 13 14 15 and performing well acting on point you know what i'm saying there was no reason like I, I still can't wrap my head around it like how did she not i just don't understand why was coco jones not over and plastered all through disney and having her own shows and all diff- different endorsements you know but there's a time and there's a reason divine reason for why a lot of things happen the way that they do um but again i remember this tweet and it went viral right everyone's like where's coco jones and so that tweet basically um kind of is what sprouted her into or not sprouted the tweet is what um, got her onto the show, the Terrell show, and on that show is, um, it's on YouTube, and he, go, he and she, and basically it's a show, like, when you come on there, you, you get us, us a word, and you sing the word, uh, you, you have to sex to sing the word, like, if the word is, um, in a, a title or the actual song lyrics, you have, like, you know, 10 seconds to sing a song with that word in it, um, but even on there, she's playing the game, but she's also talking about her experience in, what led her to even be on the show was because of her support you know the support of her fans um you know asking about her on a tweet like where is she because we just all knew that she was going to be big right um but without even knowing she was literally in this waiting season and she was in this season of just development and growth and all types of things but in this interview there was a few things that she had said that really stuck out to me and it definitely aligns with what I'd be talking about on this podcast because it's just, you just never know, right? There's just so many things that uh, I'm someone who believes that everything happens for like a divine reason. And for the things that don't happen, there's a reasoning for why it hasn't happened yet. Um, but she had said in, in this interview, she was like, I would go through it all again to be who I am right now. So she was discussing like, you know, how basically her being on Let It Shine and she was basically saying like how her, um, her career didn't really take off like how we, everyone thought it would. Um, and now she experienced so many different things like, you know, after the show or after the movie and she was just expressing like, you know, the team and the people that she had you know that was like managing her at the time just wasn't a fit essentially they were trying to have her portray something that she was essentially wasn't and they weren't really trying to sur- do the endorsements and things like that surrounded by her as a person her as a black woman but more so basically trying to have her all to herself for those you know deals and things and it just didn't work it wasn't aligned but she said like i would still go through it all again to be who i am right now and she was like further stating who would i be now if i did get everything that i prayed for at that time at that young age too like this was t- over 10 years ago so she's only 25 or 26 she just turned 26 she's only 26 now right so you never know the person that you would have been had you did get the things that you were striving towards or that you was praying for when you would have gotten it but then it's like her adult self at this because this was three years ago she was probably 22 at this time she was 22 
telling herself like well if I did would have gotten it at that time you know y'all probably would have been gassing me my head would have been real big I probably would not have appreciated she didn't say that though like you know appreciated as much as she would have like now um but essentially she's saying like what I went through is what played a huge integral role in who I am now so of course I would do it all over again even knowing the outcome of the situation and that to me I resonated with that so much because it's like you everything that you are doing now everything that you haven't done yet at all is still a part of the person that you are and who you are now is a part of the person that you're becoming like everything is is, as much as there's not this divine laid out plan or route we don't see it god sees it god knows what it's going to look like god knows how it's going to happen right but to us it's not that just it's not black and white a lot of those things that are happening that were meant to happen for us we're like taking it as like okay another another setback right and something else happening right and so yeah but um she also talked about three years later on the same show um how she basically was like staying the course and so she was like and comparing it to like you know taking it into the like riding until the wheels fall off and so she'll be like something when she's in those times of uncertainty and things just not really happening you know um like forward movement uh, moving she would kind of get discouraged and so she was like she said i'm gonna ride off ride until the wheels fall off and then something crazy would happen and then it would feel like the wheel is falling off and then something crazy would happen and and it will feel like the wheels it's like the ups and downs right so she was like i'm riding until the wheels fall off and then when i feel like you know okay maybe i need to just stop let me just stop the car and get out of it all together something crazy will happen one of those crazy things was that tweet went viral that tweet went viral um resulted in her getting on the Terrell show talking you know she had already did like a, a youtube video talking about like her story and things like that and about like you know answering all the questions she was like yeah you a super check that that video um and then she was like okay she'll get hopeful and be like okay this is gonna probably get some traction and she something else would kind of go down and it feels like okay maybe maybe not and then something crazy would happen and then it would go down and then something crazy would happen and the craziest thing that happened um was her being on bel-air so she's she's hillary right um and then ever since it's just been skyrocketing ever since and so that to me is like as an artist as someone who's a creative person who who's a creative artist that essentially is what your journey kind of looks like it's like ups and downs and there are some people who you know they are those exceptions to the rules where something can happen for them and it's just consistent back to back to back to back to back but there's also so much happening behind the scenes that we don't even know about so it's everybody looking outside looking in it's like oh they just overnight success you know overnight celebrity and it's just like no nah, it's still things that are happening and being taken that's taking place behind the scenes that we do not know about so let's dive into divine alignment right and this is something that i heavily 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 want to highlight and i feel like played a huge huge role in both of these women attaining the success that they have um and also it's 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 it was really important to their journey right so like i said i do believe that things happen for a reason everything that does and does not happen there's a reason why we never you know tend to know it right then and there we don't always tend to know it until later on like with coco jones you know she I'm not, she thinking like oh of course like you know i should have gotten at least something like my my career should have definitely taken off um feeling like you know discouraged or like should i be doing this like what's going on but those things that did not take place for her at that time was the divine alignment to get her to where she is now because she grown so much in that time as a person and like she said she said i would still do it all over again because i i'm this person that i am now and that's what she has said three years ago just imagine how much growth she's done within these past three years to now being someone who has a grammy you know what i'm saying so we don't realize how 
to reach like in order for us to reach certain heights accomplish you know our dreams it takes certain actions or things taking place that are divine instruments that are going to align us with these goals like reaching these goals climbing these heights there are certain there are certain things there are certain people certain places etc that are literal instrumental elements in your journey in your process that's going to get you to in their case the granny that's going to get them to the record labor deal that's going to get them you know the recognition the, all of the different things there are different instrumental things that's going to take place for that so like for coco it was the viral tweet that tweet got her to this show where she was able to talk and also not even that her personality she's such a likable person right she's such a relatable person um getting traction and it's also building up her her her, her trust in herself trust in the process of course and then getting more traction and her being hillary banks her now having you know being able to utilize this platform as hillary and being on the show bel-air to now i'm gonna get into this music like you know people they're they're talking about me let me really put out there what i'm what i have to say what the the the, the quality of the work that i've been you know doing all this time and like for um right all the things that she's been doing all this time those were the little the, the not little these were the instrumental elements of her journey and also her saying like within her saying like I would do it all over again to still be this person because of that knowledge that you received in that in that time she was able to take that with her now right and then for Victoria right so in her um she had uh, did a different interview she was talking about the song on my mama I love that song down you guys I, I don't think you y'all don't even know how bad that's I, I, I that was my number one song last year like I don't know if y'all know Apple Music gives you like your music breakdown that song in her album where my the album was in my my my, my top five that song was my number one most played song last year and that's how that's how that's how many that's how many times i listened to that song and had it on repeat because that song was it was literal like it it did so much for me it still does to this day i love that song down it, it brought me through some very difficult times um very much so when i was in times of uncertainty and navigating the unknown and in in, in in the midst of setbacks and stuff happening um, that song, that album, music got me through it and it's getting me through it still to this day. But she talks about in her acceptance speech that she, um, <clears throat> she talks about how she, her receiving this Grammy as best new artist was a 15 year pursuit, 15 years. This is not something that just happened overnight. Um, but she was talking in a, in a metaphorical way. And I loved, I loved the way that she did it because she was saying how her roots have been growing unseen for so long. And after this 15 year pursuit, she's finally above ground. She's finally sprouted and she's essentially reaping the fruits of her labor and she was also saying like you know when it comes to the music industry you can look at it's like the the things that you can look at it as dirt or nutrients right it's it's your perception and that's another thing that i want to also highlight is that your perception of how you are perceiving what's happening in these times and then in this the process of you trusting it and you're pursuing your dreams is so important because if I perceive it as like, oh, this is just something negative, or this is just a sign as this is, I need to just give up, then essentially it's going to, it's going to push you to just throw in the towel, or you could see it as, you know, I am just planting seeds that have not sprouted yet. I am taking care of it at the root, and it just hasn't grown yet. It hasn't, it hasn't reached above ground. And she talks about, she tells a story of how she goes to this record label 
and she just knew in her head like she just knew oh i'm gonna get signed she had so much trust in herself and her craft and her artistry that she was gonna go to this record label take a head on and just bring her binder with all her music and things and say and she just knew she was gonna leave there with the, with the deal and it did not end up happening that way the binder ended up collecting dust she says but her manager her now manager had found that very binder and she quit that work that record label and she just she invested into victoria and she said i believe in you i believe in your music i believe in your craft i'm just speaking for her at this point and and here she is now right still with her to this day and those that was the instrumental element of her reaching this point that she's at being able to say like i have three grand i'm a three grammy time winning artist um and to reach these heights of her career it took her 15 years to get here but that 15 year time span was instrumental because of the growth that she had as a person within that time frame is what played a huge role into her you know her, her part of her journey because the song on oh my mama was an ode to her own mom but also to mothers it was a song that she wrote um as a way of expressing herself after giving birth and becoming a mom like she would not have gone to this point had she not became a mom her becoming a mom and being able to like resonate with motherhood and understand her mom and the things that her mom as a you know mom went through and then like had to deal with her being able to tell that story and express that through a song to affirm herself after the fact like you know in building up, up her confidence is what literally just did a huge 180 in her, her career and in her life right and as for coco the, the tweet going viral that that was an instrumental thing happening her getting the role of being a belayer her now having this platform to p- p- present out her music those were integral things are along part of her journey learning like hey i would i would do it all, this all again to be this person that i am and victoria like you know i know that yeah this is taking me a long time mind you she's been in the industry sis has a her pen game strong she, she writes for a lot of y'all's favorite artists okay some very 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 popping songs right so she's been in this industry but she's now like she's always making music but it's this time of her life where she has I, I would say grown the the most right and it's like I think you really have to build up a lot of your faith and your trust in yourself and in God and your process where God sees that like yeah this is definitely the time for you to receive to reap the benefits of your you know your labor to get to the top of that mountain and then know that once you reach because because y'all this is only up for them it's literally only up yeah they reach the top of this mountain but there's another mountain right that that that's right next to it that they're now gonna start climbing there's so many more heights and, and things that you can reach and you can attain and now they have this wider vast you know platform that they can do so many things with and i i just look at both of their stories as very inspirational and you know they say comparison is a thief of joy which it is but inspiration is what's going to keep you you know i don't want to say motivated but in trust of knowing that if they can do it i could do it and if it's going to take me 50 years and i know that in that 15 years i'm going to have grown as much as i can and i'm needing to as a person in my craft and what i'm attaining and i know that i'm really molding and making something that's fruitful like i love that she compared it to um like planting because i think of a garden and i think of that i actually i actually know a lot about gardening well i know i used to garden i used to be working on a farm and stuff like that so when she used that an, an metaphor that analogy it resonated with me because when it comes when you think about a garden or you should think about it as simple as a plant as a, a, a plant or just a, you know a flower you have to you know cut the ends of the this this the, the cut some leaves off you have to water it you have to put it in the light sometimes you got to take it out put it in the darkness certain plants need certain things and when you look at us as a person sometimes we have to go through those darker moments which we look like you know setbacks things that we feel like it's taking it back taking us backwards but it's actually moving you forward and you don't even realize it until later on 
So like taking a plant out the, out the light, putting it in the darkness, and then bringing it back to the light and you're seeing it just sprout and uproot and how much it has already had has grown in that time of it being in the darkness. It was like, oh, okay, that darkness was necessary for its growth. That darkness was necessary for its um, its journey. Those those setbacks are, are setups that you don't even know. You don't even know that it's a setup. And so, shout out to these women, you know. Shout out to Coco and shout out to Victoria Monet and shout out to everybody black. Shout out to all the black people that won, you know, Grammy nominations. And just shout out to everybody that is staying the course, that's trusting the process. And baby, the process knows to be trusting it. I know that sometimes we think that it don't know that, but it is. The, 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 the process knows. God knows. Just continue to have trust in yourself. Continue to have trust and be open to the unknown. Continue to just thrive in the chaos and look at it as, okay, what is this teaching me? How, how what am I, what am I needing to learn through these times, you know? Or what have I learned? What what have I learned that I should have probably already been applying now? So, um, yes, it's it's all about trusting the process and staying the course. Trust your journey, stay the course. Anyone out there, creative or not, artist or not, just know that you're going to get to wherever it is you are divinely aligned and divinely meant to go, right? whatever it is don't get rid of this vision that you have for yourself keep it there you know you want to write the vision make it plain but get rid of all of the really small intricate details that you have created as you that you think are integral to your reaching these goals or reaching you know that, that you think is needing to happen sometimes some of those things may happen some of the, some of them may be actual important and others some more than often than not they're probably not so yeah you guys both of these women have had a long journey of trusting their process trusting themselves trusting god trusting in their artistry trusting in their creativity navigating these uncertain times embracing the unknown both overcoming setbacks and of not divine alignment of things taking place that got to where they are today and ultimately where they will be in the future just know and trust that everything that you're doing now, wherever you are at right now, it is it's it's happening, and you're there. Be, uh, it's a part of you getting to where you're going. It is a part of the person you're going you're becoming, and you're gonna look back and be like, oh, I'm so grateful that this happened the way that it did, or I'm gonna be so I'm, I'm so grateful that this actually didn't happen. There's a lot of things that I I thought that I wanted for myself, which I talked about in a previous pre- probably a collection of different episodes. Um things that I thought that I wanted for myself or that I just knew was going to happen I think it was my quarter life crisis episode that one I talked a lot about like what I had envisioned for myself with the, the, the vision that I had wrote down and painted and had this in my head a lot of it a, a good majority of it didn't happen grateful that it didn't I'm so grateful that it didn't so just know that at the end of the day you are always exactly where you need to, to be trust me Trust yourself, of course. Trust God. And just continue to stay the course. I pray that you guys enjoy this episode. And I will see you all in the next one. Thank you so much for tuning in to this week's episode of the Gift of Gab podcast. Be sure to follow us on all social media platforms at the Gift of Gab underscore pod. I will speak to you all next week. Thank you guys so much. Continue to grow, accept, and become someone greater than you are now.